Major, major breaking news just went down. If you did not watch Monday Night Raw, you should go back and watch the show. Watch it on DVR. Find a way to watch the show. As many people expected, The Rock showed up on Raw. Uh, it all started out with Jinder Mahal coming out to the ring. He pretended like he was the person that Triple H was teasing, the former WWE champion. Mahal is a former WWE champion, but it was obviously uh, not what the fans were expecting. They were expecting somebody else. Um, Mahal ripped on America, ripped on the fans, uh, basically talking about politics and division and how the, co- how the country is so divided, this and that. Uh, we all knew where this was headed. He was going to get cut off. And, uh, he's, uh, uh, J- Mahal spoke a little bit in Punjabi and uh, drew some boost from the crowd. And then uh, right afterwards, The Rock, uh, song, uh, played. The fans went nuts. The Rock came out. And then uh, he went to the ring and, and basically did what he does, did what The Rock does with the, the insults and the, the, the jokes and, you know, basically cutting him down, cutting him down and saying that the fans are not hating him because of what he looks like or where he's from or, or anything like that. The fans don't like him because, as The Rock put it, he's a day one douchebag and he got the fans to chant that. Uh you obviously with these segments, you know what happens. Uh, Mahal tried to attack The Rock. The Rock came back with punches, a rock bottom, or a uh, sorry, yes, a rock bottom, and then the uh, the people's elbow, and then The Rock uh, basically uh, grabbed the mic again and said that talked about San Diego about going out for a drink, and he asked if he should uh, basically uh, get a stool, sit at the bar, or should he sit. At the head of the table, and that drew a huge pop from the fans. That's a first major acknowledgement, first major tease for Rock versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Uh, that match had been planned for last year, but it did not happen because, as The Rock said a few months ago, there were issues with well, creative that things did not line up correct, did not line up exactly right, and he said that he was open to doing this match at WrestleMania 40. Um, So it looks like the match has finally happened. And the big question is now what goes on with Cody? Cody, you know, that's been teased, you know, it's been pushed all year that he was going to finish his story and and probably win the title from Roman at at WrestleMania 40. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So that means that if if Cody doesn't wrestle Roman at WrestleMania, then that's got to happen at a later date. I can't see it happening any other time than SummerSlam. I mean, sorry, uh, WrestleMania. So perhaps WrestleMania 41 next year. Uh, It actually, believe it or not, this kind of, this does make a little bit of sense. If the WWE is looking to have Roman reign surpass Hulk Hogan's title reign, uh, I forget the exact numbers, but it's over 1400 days. Hulk Hogan's first title reign was 1400 days. Uh, then Roman would have to win at WrestleMania and stay the champion at least until September. Uh, now, I don't think he's ever going to break Bruno's, San Martino's reign, but at least they can say he broke Hogan's first reign, the the, the major reign that Hogan had there from 84 to 88. Uh, so that might be what they're going for. Um, and then... So that allows Roman to get a win against The Rock, and then that's they can set up Cody versus Roman for next year at WrestleMania 41. So uh, apparently, that looks like what might be happening here. Um, what do you guys think? Do you think uh, Cody's getting screwed here? Do you think Cody deserves a match, or do you would you rather see Rock versus Roman Reigns again? Like I said, this match has been in the works for years. Um, I know people are going to hate on The Rock and say he's taking Cody's spot, but truth be told, the match was supposed to happen last year. And uh, things changed, and then they put Cody in that spot. So uh, that's a huge news. That's the first major match tease for WrestleMania. The other big match that people believe it's going to happen is Seth Rollins versus CM Punk. So this show is going to be probably they're probably going to push this as the biggest WrestleMania of all time. This is a looks going to be like a going to be a huge card at the top. So again, uh anyways, uh thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. If you're not subscribed, then you're just finding the channel now. Please subscribe cuz we're going to be doing a giveaway soon. WWE Universal Championship replica, an official one. I'm going to be giving that away very soon, so subscribe so you can be notified so you can be notified 
of when the giveaway happens. Um, thanks again for the uh, support, and uh, we'll see. Uh, check out the rest of the channel for documentaries and interviews from Steve Fall. We got a lot of stuff coming this week. Thanks again. Bye.